Hey there, how you doing? It is uh, afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. I was looking for a way to convert a folder full of audio files, and they're in different formats from WebM to MKV. And I've got FFmpeg, and I'm comfortable with the command line, and I really wanted a way to convert, by batch, all of those files in a folder to MP3. So there is tools for me to do that, like front ends to do that, uh, to be able to just drag and drop all the files into uh, a, a GUI, like a front-end uh, app, and just select a bunch of options and do it. But I don't want to pay the 20 bucks for it, because I don't use it enough to do it. So I went digging around and found something on Stack Exchange about a bash script to convert all flat files. And I thought, oh, this would be kind of useful. Just to... I have a command line that I already use now for FFmpeg to convert it um, just with a line. But I have to copy and paste the name in for it and I was thinking there's got to be a faster way to do this because now I've got like 20 25 different files in there and so I was scrolling down here and there's lots of different ways to actually use FFmpeg to do it and then I came across a post from a guy down here saying GNU parallel is made for these kind of tasks so I did a bit of a search for that because supposedly you can run a job so the job can be FFmpeg in parallel so Basically, you're running one instance of FFmpeg per CPU. So it's a free open source uh, bash add-on shell tool for executing jobs in parallel. So what I did is uh, I run this um, package manager for Mac OS called Homebrew. You can install it yourself just by getting this command line here. You just have to in copy it by clicking on the end there. Loading up terminal. If you don't know where terminal is, you have to go into your applications and in utilities and terminals in there. Run this command, and what it'll do is install this command line package manager. And when you've got this packet manager, think of packet manager like the Apple App Store, but just for command line apps, open source apps that are not listed on the App Store. And um, then you can just do brew install parallel and then brew install ffmpeg. And I actually uploaded a document. Uh, on CSKY, like as a just a little document and converted it to a PDF just to show you how to do it and what I ended up using as a command line. So, first of all, like FFmpeg on M1 Max is super fast anyway. It must be the GPUs like doing some number crunching like crazy there. But with this thing, it absolutely flies. Now, I haven't tested if you can just do like a star command to say all files in this folder convert it using the ffmpeg and turn it into mp3 but this is what i used and tried and just made two different versions of it i'm going to explore a little bit further than this but all this does is it kicks off ffmpeg in parallel gets an input file from the folder anything that's named webm and basically passes it through to ffmpeg and uses the codec to convert it into mp3 and oh my god this thing is so fast i had a top running which is like a analyzer so you can see all your CPU cores. And it was just firing up different copies of FFmpeg and running them in parallel. So if you've got a folder full of files and you're just trying to convert them from one audio format to another, this is a really cool way to do it on an M1 Mac because you just literally drop into the folder and uh, run that command. And I'm, I will do a bit more exploring. I'm sure you could probably just do star and it will pick up everything in that folder. Maybe you can take this further with a bash script and you know move all the exported files, all the created files, should I say, of MPEG into another converted folder or something. But I just wanted to share this quick little hack this morning because uh, it just saves so much time for me. Instead of me just copying and pasting a line to do the command, um, I just have to do this now and I can put it in a bash script and just drop that into my path and actually run it from anywhere that I have files. So kind of useful. I just wanted to put it up somewhere so I had a copy of it. Um, like I said, just there's loads of information on the Unix and Linux site for converting from one format to another. This parallels thing, I'm trying to think of other applications for it where I can run something once and then across all the cores. But even with like a folder of like 15 items, it was probably less than 30 seconds to do them, which is kind of nuts. Admittedly, I'm only using a, a basic conversion this a codec lib m3 so it's just literally taking the original and converting it into mp3 if you want to do more custom stuff with the ffmpeg maybe you want to change the sample rate and stuff maybe it'll be a little bit slower but the fact that you've got all those cores on an m1 processor you might as well get the most out of them all right that's it i uh, put a link in the description to this little document here 
this is basically the research I did and uh, this parallels program uh, maybe you've got some different applications of using parallels on your Mac to run lots of uh, instances maybe you can run um, some miners on your Mac like software miners for certain apps and have like lots of them running on so many cores I don't know all right I will catch up with you soon take care bye